welcome back and if you are new welcome my name is Nikki don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any new videos and also hit the bell so that you're notified every time I upload so today I'm doing a part two of my best of the best because I did part one it was 30 minutes long and I was watching it and I was like crap I forgot so much stuff and there was no way I could have that all in one video I mean 30 minutes already is too long for a video so I thought let's do a part two duh Two? Two. I don't know how to say two in French. I used to speak fluent French and now I don't know any of it. So sad. But anyways, so we're going to do part two today. I'm just going to jump right into it. If you want to see part one, I will link it down below. Everything I talk about will be linked down below if you're interested in it. So let's jump into the video. All right. So the first product that I want to mention is the Hell Poor Cleanup Mask. I actually did a full video review on this where I put it on, I take it off and I tell you my thoughts. I'll link that down below. I really like this mask. I don't find it as painful or I didn't really find it painful at all. It's like some people, um, I heard about this from Tati. She's on YouTube. She has like 2 million subscribers. I heard about it from her and she said it was really painful. Everyone's pain tolerance is different. It wasn't that painful for me. Again, I'll link the video down below, but I did like, because I kept using, I've been using this mask since I filmed that video every week. I think it's really helped with my pore size. Like my pores on my nose are very, very large. And I'm pretty sure because this is the only mask that I use on my nose. I specifically target my nose because my, like I said, my pores are so big. I feel like it helps to get out all the gunk on my nose and it makes my pores look smaller. So it's not my favorite mask of the year, but this is one of the best masks to use that's affordable, especially, I believe this is under 10 bucks on Amazon. I'll link it down below. But if you have really large pores, this is really great. I would say just test it on a small area of your face because I've watched other review videos and a lot of people say it's like the most painful mask they've ever tried. It's horrible. I didn't have that experience at all. It wasn't painful for me at all. It only was painful when I kind of got it like on my hair. Try not to get it on your hair, but I say test a small amount, but I really like it if you have large pores and you just want to get all the gunk out of your skin, like maybe the T-zone. It's really great for that. Like it a lot. All right, so these next two items are very pricey. Very, very, very pricey. I'm just letting you know they're very pricey. I did a Christian Louboutin haul like three months ago, four months ago, and I've been wearing these bad boys and I love them. I have two pairs here for you. I have no idea what the names of these are. I will link them down below. I'll also link the video down below where I did my Christian Louboutin haul, but these are my favorite pair that I own. I love them and they're actually somewhat tolerable to walk in. If you own Christian Louboutin shoes, then you understand they're usually very, very, very uncomfortable. So these are actually tolerable. I'm not going to call them, I, no, they're not comfortable. They're very uncomfortable. I'm not going to call these comfortable, but they're tolerable. Like I wore these to work. I didn't have a problem. And they're my favorite because you see this heel, you see how it's not a straight heel. It has like a wave design on it. That's my favorite part of the shoe. I just love it. And I don't care that it's winter time. I wear white year round. And I had the um, rubber sole put on here so it makes the shoe a lot more comfortable and it makes this look a lot nicer because if you own Louboutins, you know that when you start wearing them, this gets like gray and scuffed. So I always get a rubber red heel put on them, but I really, really like these. If you're interested in checking them out, I'm not sure if they're still available. I will link them down below. Another like crazy ass expensive pair of shoes that I have yet to wear, but I love them. I've only worn these around the house, but I love them so much. Oh my goodness. I need to find like, a, I want to wear them on a date night or something. These are another pair of Louboutin heels. I got these from the sample sale. I also featured these in my Christian Louboutin haul. I think these are the most unique shoes I own. I think I said that in the Louboutin haul. They're just, they're like start with a, pink and then they go to purple and then a blue gradient. Can you see that? They're very high and these are not comfortable. Like I've been wearing these around the house. I'll just put them on because I'm crazy that way and wear them around the house. They are not comfortable, but they are the most unique heel I have. And then they have these like little red spikes on all over the heel, which I'm actually scared might fall off. I'm not sure. I need to just wear them out and see, but I think these are the coolest pair of shoes I own right now. I really, really like these. So if I can find them online, I'll link them down below. I'm not sure if they still sell these and I don't even know the name of them, but I will find out before I post this video. So these are my two favorite heels of this year that I've purchased all year. Um, 
I've worn the white ones, like I've said, I've worn these to work, I've worn them on a date, I just, I really love these shoes. I need to wear these as like, just not house shoes and like wear them outside the house. I just gotta find something to pair it with, but my two favorite high-end shoes of the year. Next up, I featured this product on my channel a couple of months ago. I actually was contacted by Lavalin and I did a sponsored video with them. But before I actually did the video, I tried out the product for four days and I really like this deodorant, guys. This is a, it's called Lavalin Underarm Deodorant Cream. It's an all natural deodorant and um, I won't go into too much detail about the ingredients and stuff because I did that in the video where I reviewed this So I'll link that video down below, but this is all natural. It's paraben free aluminum free um, So uh, well, I'll just tell you aluminum free deodorant is great because when you put aluminum Any deodorant that you buy from the drugstore has aluminum in it And it's great because it helps you to stop sweating and not smell but over time that has been shown to possibly cause cancer so Long-term use of it can actually be pretty risky for your health. So I've been on the hunt for a natural deodorant, and this is Lavalin. I have been using this every day since I filmed that sponsored video. Now here's the thing, the claim behind this is that you can put it on once and it'll last you like five to seven days. I don't find that as the case, and I talk about that in the video, um, because I'm really sweaty, I work out a lot, so. I put this on every day. It doesn't last more than a day for me. The first time I used it, it did last for like four or five days. But after that, I have to reapply this daily, but I love it. It works and you do still sweat. Check out the link down below. I won't go into too much detail or else I'll just be talking about this deodorant, but I really, really like it. I'll link it down below. And then if you want more information on it, check the video that I did a full review on this. I really like it. And I'm all, you can tell I've been using a lot. I'll show you a close up, but. I've been using it a lot, I really like it. All right, next up is Revita Lash. Oh no, Rapid Lash, sorry. This is an eyelash serum that is supposed to make your eyelashes grow, and not supposed to, it has made my eyelashes grow. I've been using this for about nine months now, I think I got this in March of 2016, and it has made my eyelashes so much longer. It doesn't make my lashes thicker though. If any of you have tried this, let me know. It says it's an eyelash enhancing serum, and it's just a really thin wand, and you're supposed to put it on your lash line every night at bedtime, and my lashes are so much longer. I have the shortest, stubbiest lashes, and I also have very sensitive eyes, and it doesn't irritate my eyes at all. But I would just say, be careful with this, because I know some people, they can't use these eyelash serums, especially if you have sensitive eyes, but I have sensitive eyes, I haven't had any problems, and I wish I would have done a before and after, because my lashes are so much longer, and you need very little, like there's so much product left in here. Um, it says it expires, um, 2019 you get 0.1 fluid ounce but I'm telling you I've been using this for nine months and I can still hear there's still product in there so I really like this I got this on Hope Look which is actually one of my favorite sites that I should mention Hotlook.com is owned by Nordstrom the department store and it's a daily deal flashlights flash site so every day they send you new daily deals and they have things like beauty products they have makeup like Stila Becca uh, Lorac, and then they have clothing and everything. So anytime I see beauty products on there, this is normally, I think, 50 bucks, and I got it for 25. So I'll link Hot Look down below. It's a flash site, so I don't think this is on there now, but basically meaning like they have sales that'll last two days and then it's gone. But the sales do come back, so check out Hot Look, and if you see this anywhere, if you're trying to grow your lashes, like if you have short, stubby lashes like I do, I would recommend it, it's really good. My lashes are so much longer because of it. Next up, I wanted to show you some of my favorite drugstore, actually these are just some of my favorite brushes, period. This is the Real Techniques uh, brush brand, and I don't, this isn't even all of their brushes I have, guys. I have like a lot of their brushes. I just love it, it's so affordable. This isn't sponsored, by the way. Their brushes are so affordable, you can get them everywhere. You can find them at the drugstore, Walmart, you can find them everywhere. And they last so long. Like this brush, I've had, no joke, for three years. And I've washed this, I've used this, it's not fraying at all, the handles are sturdy, I love the colors. I even recently have been trying their Bold Metals brushes, and these are beautiful. They usually have like a gold or silver color. They're densely packed, so soft. I mean, 
whenever someone says, can you recommend like an affordable makeup brush? I always say Real Techniques. Like I would choose this over Morphe, over Makeup Addiction, over all those like Instagram brands, you know, that are online or maybe they even have stores because these just last so long. I've purchased Morphe brushes and some of them are great and then some of them will like start falling apart and fraying in two months. I don't know, it's so hit or miss, but these, hands down, some of my favorite brushes, not just affordable, but ever. I love Real Techniques brushes. All right, so that is it for me. That is everything for 2016. I have more products, but I'm not gonna make this a three-part video. It's just too much, oh my goodness. Even this video now is gonna be long. So everything will be linked down below. If you wanna check out part one, I'll link that down below. I usually link everything down below. Even if I can find what I'm wearing, I'll link it down below. So always check the description bar if you have any questions or comments or anything like that. And that's it for me. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell so you don't miss out on any videos. I'm uploading two times a week, plus I am doing a live stream. So you can expect from me this entire year at least three videos a week, probably more. So that's it for me. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you soon. Bye.